Hello, hello YouTube. Chash Text back with another great video, and today's video is about how to fix components missing from advanced power setting on Windows. On advanced power settings, you will have different components. Let us check them, which is click on the search icon and type edit power. So when I type edit power here, we found the edit power plan. So I'm going to open it and open change advanced power setting here. The advanced power setting. As you can see, as you can see on the advanced power setting, here we have different components that we have. But as you are seeing here, the list of components that are missing from the advanced power setting. So if you are missing those components, then I have some solutions for those uh, missing components. And it, this video will work for all Windows operating system, Windows 10, Windows 11, and others. Now let's start on how can we solve this problem so the first problem the first uh, solution would be which is following using the registry editor so i'm going to put this notepad under the description box so you can access and you can use this directory or commands so use the registry editor in order to use the registry editor go to open the registry editor click on the search icon here and type register editor it's already here appeared on the screen so right click on it then select run as administrator so after you find your registry editor before uh, you change things on the registry editor just back up your registry editor so select here the file icon and click export in case if your computer is not working with the specified registry editor you can uh, import back to the previous uh, registry editor so type here for example let us say backup back edit i'm going to say backup reg edit and select a location so i'm going to put it on the desktop then select here save so it's backupping the registry editor so it may take some time wait patiently until the backuping process will be completed okay my computer finished the backup process so anytime if i want to get back to the previous registry editor format then i'm going to select the file and import that specific registry editor uh, registry editor backup this one so by clicking this one i can get back to the previous one so now let's start on the first solution so the first solution would be opening this uh location so hk local machine which is here we find the hk local machine so select here the arrow so after that open system so i'm going to click here the system arrow so after the system opened then proceed to current control set then here the current control set so i'm going to cl click the arrow so after the current control set, then proceed to control. Then proceed to control by clicking here the arrow. After control, we are going to proceed to power, which is the final one. So click on and scroll down to the bottom to find power P, which is here P power. We found power. So select here power just don't click the arrow just select the folder p the power so after that find cs enabled so in my case i can't find cs enabled in your case if you find c enabled, cs enabled well done but if you cannot find cs enabled then you should have to create the cs enabled so to create the cs enabled then right click here and select new and select the word 32 bit values right click then select the new then select the word 32 bit value and type c s enabled c s enabled so after you type the c s enabled let me show you here so here c s enabled is created then change the value data to zero so click on it right click on it then select modify and 
as you can see the value data in my case is already zero but if you find a value data of one two or any number just change it into zero and the base into hexadecimal then select here okay so after you do that then close the registry editor and go here to windows and restart your computer so after the restart check by getting into the power plan which is edit power plan which is here it is already so check whether you get the components under the advanced power setting so check whether the components are get buff or not so if the components are still missing then we are going to proceed to the, the second step which is run the command under the cmd so to run the command under the cmd click on the search icon here and type here cmd so after you type the cmd then click on the command prompt right click on it and select run as administrator so here we found the cmd opened so let's start one by one so the first one copy the first one Control c which is copy so then paste it here then press enter then we will proceed to the second one we are going to make each of them one by one copy paste then again copy and press enter then again copy paste and press enter so here the cmd process completed then close this one and restart your computer so after the restart if the missing components get back it's great but if the components are still missing then we are going to use the third method so the third method will be opening the power shell so to open the power shell again click on the search icon and type here power shell so here the power shell opened so open power shell ise don't forget that windows power shell ise right click on it then select run as administrator so if after the power shell opened then copy this script which is starting from the, the dollar sign until the final bracket so i'm going to copy this one copy and paste and press enter then it will process some activities then finally close this one as in as it says restart your pc so let us click on the windows icon and restart the computer so finally for sure you are you're going to get the missing components of the advanced power setting and if this video is helpful please subscribe church tech and give me like and you can give me comments on the comment section and to get my newer videos every time press the bell button thank you for watching for today church tech out